experimental methods, the coefficient of drag. I'm Kyle Barnett. And I'm Luke Waite. In this lab, we'll consider the flow around four different geometrical objects in a wind tunnel. The objective is to experimentally determine the coefficient of drag for each shape and compare them, the measured values to the theoretical values. Before we begin this experiment, we need to make sure to use the proper safety equipment. Because we're using a wind tunnel, high-speed winds can cause injuries. We need to use glasses like these. Due to the high level of noise caused by the wind tunnel, you will also need to use these earplugs. Insert them into the ear as shown. To improve the accuracy of this experiment, do not stand in this position, otherwise it will impede the flow of the wind tunnel. Also, don't forget to open this door before you start the experiment. The first step in the procedure is to open the ZP Recorder software. This is what the software looks like when it is ready to use. Step two. Connect your digital force gauge, like so, and connect it up here as well. Next, assemble your pitot tube by connecting it to the differential pressure manometer. Turn it on by pressing this button. Make sure your units are in kilopascals. To change the units, press this button right here. Place the pitot tube at this location. Make sure to position the pitot tube above the circular disc and parallel to the flow. Try to keep your hand as steady as possible. The drag coefficient of four different shapes will be found in this experiment. The hemisphere, the sphere, the large circular disc, and the streamlined body. Attach the test specimen to the testing rod by gently screwing in the test piece. Insert the testing rod into the wind tunnel at this location. To power on the wind tunnel, take a flathead screwdriver and turn counterclockwise. Take five different measurements at five different fan speeds. Once your partner has achieved a stable pressure reading, begin viewing and recording the force over a 30 second interval. After this 30 second interval, note and record the average force value. Remove the circular disc from the wind tunnel. Then replace with each individual test specimen and test it at various fan speeds. Well guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching the Coefficient of Drag Lab. Don't forget, turn off everything and put everything back in its proper place. We hope you had as much fun as we did with this lab. Remember to stay safe and happy engineering.